Welcome back to another episode of Bourbon Buddies. Today, something new? Buddy? Always something new, Always buddy. something new, that's true. <laughs> what do we got, buddy? We got ba 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 bakers Love it. So, new Baker's release. What are the fun facts, buddy? <laughs> Baker's, Jim Beam. Yeah, I think there's like four whiskeys that are part of this whole series. It's Knob Creek, Baker's, Basil Hayden's. Okay. Booker's, Booker's is, uh, is in there too. So, so Baker's okay. is 107 proof. Always mm -hmm. been 107 proof. It's been out for a long, actually a pretty good amount of We've time. We've done a review on Baker's. Yeah, but small this is batch. new Baker's. This is new Baker's because this is a single barrel option of Baker's. Now, are they getting a, getting rid of the other options? They are. They're they're discontinuing the small batch and they're going to the single barrel. So, and they've also changed the bottle. It's kind of nice, sexy. I'm digging cool the bottle. Cap on there. Yeah, or little, cap? Cap? Well, it is a cap on the cork. That is. There's a cap on There's the cork. There's a cap on the cork. Um, and uh, yeah, the single barrels are really cool because they have all kinds of cool information around the neck here. Um, it tells you the, the Where serial it number, when it was bottled, um, or when it was put in the barrel. Put in the barrel. Um, when it was, uh, where it was in the warehouse, the yeah, house, all that whole thing. Which is really, really, which I really think cool. They call it a warehouse. They, they do call it a warehouse. That's dumb. All right, it's one strike against it. Better taste good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. And they they updated the bottle, so the bottle's uh, a little bit snazzier. Snazzy. It, it is snazzy. It's, it's kind of wine esque. I was a huge fan of the. You, small batch though. I do love me some bakers. Yeah, yeah that had the the Booker's um, style bottle, bottle. Little yeah. wine style bottle. Yeah, maybe. yeah. And this is this has nothing you wrong know, with it, but nothing really nothing gravitating you towards it. And this is gravitating. But we really like you, especially. Really like the 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 bakers uh, small uh, the small batch. Now I'm really excited to see what this is like because um, I'm really just wanting to know with single barrel. What is it, it really Did different? We gain something? Did we gain right. any? Is it, you know, because I know the whole, you know, single barrel thing is definitely gaining some, some momentum right now. And I think it's kind of cool. It changes Baker's up. It gives a little face facelift here. Changes the, the, you know, stuff that's inside a little bit. So I'm excited. I'm excited too. Yeah. Brand new bottle. I don't, how long has this been out? Because this is the first time I saw it and I grabbed it. It came out last year. Middle of the year last year? But when was it available for us? Um, this is the first time I'm really this seeing it. This is the first time around. I saw it. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's been... It. It, it usually takes a little bit around our parts for these new products to kind of drop. Um, we haven't even seen... Um, we haven't even seen C919 from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof yet. We still have the... We just pretty much got the B519 and I just cracked that. Which, Buddy, don't quote me on this, but I think I saw it. C919. Is I'm it pretty, here? I'm pretty sure they had both of them you over there. Jerk. I forgot. So anyway, you see what I'm dealing with those already? He didn't even give me any information. Jesus. Okay, so Secret as soon as I saw this, um, I sent you a picture right away. Right Dude, away. You did. You yeah. know what? Yeah. Okay. But no, I um, there's a lot that went on that day. <laughs> Busy day. And I do think they have it over at our our uh, favorite little hideout spot. So okay. you might want to check that out. I'm Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I saw that. I might have to check. I think they had the B and the C right next to each other. I have the A. Which would make sense. I have the B. It does make sense. In order. I okay, so here we are. Popping. Popping. You're going to pop wait, it wait, in wait. the... Just get, get it on the mic. Oh, Ooh, that was good. That, that was, was a good, good little pop. Had a little... That Party, was like a wet first. pop. It was like... That Thanks, buddy. a lot of bad ways, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Is that all right? You, That's a beautiful pour. Okay. Because I know you always get carried away and you say yes. I'm too generous, but... Hey. What are you going to do? I guess it's synthetic core. Synthetic Two core. Strikes. Two what, strikes. I'm gonna be throwing this out the window soon. All right, hopefully, hopefully it's good though. Good looking bottle. It is. I'm just busting. It's 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 good. Now this, uh, I did not say this, but this is. Um, so you said a minimum of seven years that these single barrels have to be, but this is eight years, six, six months. months. Yes. Which is very intriguing. Yes, it is. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. All right, here we go. Love of the monkey business. Let's get on this. 
Wow, I did pour a hefty pour. I, I, I would, I mean, is that a hefty pour? That's a hefty pour. Let me see. Let me see yours. Let me see. Yeah, I did the same <laughs> thing. Let me hold it down here so Niels looks <laughs> bigger. Wait a second. That can be taken. That can be taken. But, well, actually, good for me. Think it's working out in your favor. <laughs> Bad <way>. for you. <laughs> okay. Now, this is brand brand new. We we took the plastic off. We didn't pop it until just Which, then. Which, so. to be honest, you really don't want to review. or Well, not review, oh but... God. You don't really want to like give everything all you got with just popping the bottle because like you can't really get into the, it changes so much it does, throughout this. It so, does. But we're just going to give you the initial kind of like little like what a we a pop and pour. Review. We got too excited. We can't wait. No, we want to share this. Now I've had this for a few days and I've I've been eyeing it up and I've been disciplined. Been eyeing it for the video. So. Very disciplined. I'm getting like Luden's cherry, that cherry cough medicine. And not in a bad way, I love me some cough medicine, so. I, not that I have like a problem and I'm not like doing like the cough medicine coating thing, it's not that. I just like the taste of like medicinal things sometimes. I had this professor in college that I would go to, like he would destroy my papers, right? Just like, just red right all, all over. over. It'd just be like, it'd make me feel like total crap. So I had to go to his office the one time, I went to his office that he and, did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch it. So I go to his office and I just like look around. It's just like, just cough medicine bottles everywhere. <laughs> just, like, just all over the show. It's like our bourbon, except he has just like cough different. medicine. Was it all the same kind or different? Oh yeah, it was, it was like, well, it was a couple different kinds. Dynatap and all sorts. Of, <laughs> Some Robitussin. Robitussin. He had it all. You know what? Going to your cherry. I'm getting a strong cherry. Dude, I get this black cherry. Okay, um, I can see that. Yeah, because it, it has a real sweet underlying yeah. note. Great baking spices going on. Yep. Uh, your usual suspects, uh, cinnamon, you know, a little bit of nutmeg. You know, little... I'm not getting a ton of spices. I'm getting that hard candy like um, Jolly Ranchers or something. See, I, on the, right on the beginning, right when I took my first smell, I was kind of getting those baking spices. Let me try that. But it is very can. You're right. It's very, um, very candy forward. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. I mean, I'm definitely picking up a little bit of what you're saying underneath, but it's under all that hard candy. Are you getting any nuttiness? No. I ain't not. either. Now, we didn't get too much nuttiness on the Baker's small batch. Um, this is a very nice sweet nose. There's definitely yeah, a lot really of vanilla. Sweet. A lot of vanilla going on. But all the right. vanilla is... I can't wait much longer, buddy. I've been right, walking by this bottle for like three days. Just There's the up. cinnamon. Now, you know what? Get, get, in there. get in there, get in there, get that there. cinnamon first before you take your first sip there, buddy. Okay, get okay. a little like big red chewing gum. Yeah, 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 yeah. there it is. Yep. Very nice nose. It's actually a little bit subtle. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's get in here. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, Cheers. to y'all. You know what it reminds me of? Baker's seven year. <laughs> it really does, but it is... Whoa, it's cherry. It's real cherry. Whoa, that's... But Dude. now I'm getting like some vanilla and almost a little like ash barrel char coming in on the back mm -hmm. definitely being eight years and well, almost months. nine years right well eight and a half years you're right is it six months is it eight years six yes, months it yeah. is. eight and a half years old you are going to get a little bit of the, ba the barrel influence there dude that cherry note now you said it is like in town i mean this is fruity i don't remember bakers ever being no this is this fruity. more cherry way more cherry I mean, almost that, like a little grapey but more fruit, just in general, almost like dried fruits. You're absolutely right. This is really good. I'm digging it. It's definitely different than uh, Baker's small batch, which is really cool. And again, you're gonna get all kinds of different. Ex you're gonna get little subtlety differences in all these bottles. So what I should do is buy like four more bottles with different age states, and then for sure, yeah. And then just for science, yeah. Just co to come over here first. Make sure to let me know. Knock on my door. Yeah. Knock on my door. This is a winner for me, man. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I was just gonna say that. If you want, this has got a lot, a big fruit pop. Um, a lot of those dried fruits, cherry notes. If you like cherry notes in your bourbon, this has got it. Yeah, but again, you could get another barrel, or you know, another bottle that has a, it's a different barrel, and some of those cherry notes I, maybe aren't gonna come out. I would like to think you're you're gonna have a similar experience. I, I would, yeah. It's probably not, it's. I don't. I can't imagine it waxing and waning that much between. I mean, like subtle, but maybe not yeah. maybe unrecognizable. Thirty percent differences, right? Mm -hmm. Thirty's a lot. Well, it's under half. Yeah, that's true. 
You're right, but that is a lot. I'm really enjoying this. You the, could uh, be right, though. I mean, I don't know. This is our first time. This is the first time we saw it, so who knows? Could be talking out my rear here. I can't get over that cherry note in the... Now, I'm almost getting, like... Nice vanilla cream. Um, I, I dare to use the word. But on the finish, as it lays on the sides of the tongue, I'm getting almost like a... Um, slight coffee. And I don't know. It's coming, like, from, from the barrel char. I'm getting, like, a coffee on the side. Proof point. 107. Suck. Got, oh, yeah. If I were doing this blind... And I'm going to be realistic about this. Dude, I'd pin this at higher than 107. It's drinking hot, but it's not like where it's, it's like, ugh, it's hot. It's not hot as in like burning. No, but it's just full of, it's, it's full. It's full of flavor. Yeah. And I almost feel like it has a little bit more of a, uh, like, a, like viscosity to it. It's a little thicker on the tongue. It's a little, the like coats yeah. and kind of hangs in there a little bit more, but it's not such high proof point that it's like, Burning your taste buds out. Yeah, I'd, I'd peg this at probably 110, that's, 115. That's real cherry, though. Dude, the cherry it, it, the cherry notes are legit and for real. It's not going away. The, now the third sip, now I've gone back on this. The, that cherry note's still there. It is starting to kind of mellow teeny bit. And some of those fruit notes. But the spice notes are kind of dissipating for me. I'm starting yeah, to lose them. I'm, I'm not getting spicy. Yeah. Either. In the beginning, I was. Now, I almost um, feel like, and this could be... I could be wrong about this, or mm -hmm. it could be just my perspective, but I almost feel like there's cherry and the, the viscosity of it coats the tongue and kind of keeps those spices from getting through. From yeah. Oh, so yeah. then that would be safe to say is if you don't like spicy food, drink this first. Maybe. 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 Yeah, I'd like to revisit this and see what this is like, maybe with a little bit of air in there and kind of see where that goes but and where that cherry goes. Just trying to drink up goes. Baker's. Revisit it. <laughs> <laughs> just when it gets down to the when it says Baker's, to that's the top of the label, and this that's is a low you, label. You see the label? Yeah, it's a so low we label. really have to get all this out, really for science. Yeah, we might as well just drink it now. If you liked Baker's before, I think I don't think you're gonna be like, oh, this doesn't taste anything like Baker's. You know, screw all this. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I will miss the old Baker's. You should buy a but there I've it's um there's still right. a couple out in the wild. I got a bottle. All right, good. I got it. Good for you, buddy. Definitely right. an, an interesting bourbon. Yeah, the oak's starting to come out now. Yeah. This is it's interesting. Honestly, it's not what I expected. No, it it, it did it is Baker's. Definitely, you can tell, but it's 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 definitely different. I mean, there's something to be said about single barrels which I think are really cool to drink, but then there's something to be said about small batch that's Here's the thing: a small batch is more consistent because you're batching everything together. And you're getting and what you know. You're getting what you know, and when they batch it all together, they can go, "Okay, I need to add this and this and this to get to here." Rather than single barrels, like well, whatever it is, you got, which I think is cool, and it's in another well, yeah, aspect. It, it gives you it gives you a different experience. I yeah. mean, it's almost like, do you want the sense of adventure, or do you want to stick with what you know? And I think that's a hurdle for a lot of people because that's, we like consistency. Yeah. We like to know the landscape and we like to know what's going on. And we, we have an expectation. I mean, there's times you, you know, I know I speak for myself, but I'm sure others will attest to this. Mm -hmm. There's times you want a certain bourbon because you're looking for that flavor. Yeah. Or that experience, yep. right? You yep. want, you're just in the mood for whatever, and you sort of have your go-tos. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yep. hey, I like this. So the single barrel does fluctuate a little bit. I like to think they keep it pretty consistent. That's kind of their job, yeah. right? As in picking the barrels and saying this this is what now is. But this is different. Yeah. So if you haven't tried it, take a day off work, run around, do whatever it takes to track it down. You know, but I, I definitely would. Yeah, this try is, this. This is this is something different, and I can't think of anything that this is like. Oh, this reminds me of this. Other than yes, it's Baker's, but it's yeah. different. Well, you take this for instance, right? That stuff. This Knob Creek, you know, single barrel. But this is this is a you know store pick. But dude, both Jim Beam, totally different beasts. I mean, it's not even fun. It's not, not even, fun. even close. The Knob Creek tends to get more uh, nuttiness, and you get that that typical Jim Beam kind of thing. And, and Baker's, I never get the nuttiness. Even with the uh, small batch, I was never getting that. Well, know? are they using a completely different like mash bill? No, 
it's the same distillate. Everything's coming so what, off still the same. What sorcery are they doing over there? So it, just like we were talking before, um, before the camera rolled, we were talking about how, you know, the whole um, barrel to barrel location. location. So they might be pulling bakers from a specific location in, you know, a certain um, like a certain where a Rick warehouse or rickhouse says you yeah. know or, or not says but maybe it does this thing floor like everyone H off this floor. floor seems to be a certain yes. way and i think that that's kind of where they can you know think about wild turkey wild turkey right now all they do is they have the same mash bill for every one of their bourbons every one of them it's the same distillate and you can see the variations between everything right it's, it's incredible crazy. isn't it it is incredible so that that's what's kind of cool um i do like i think jim beam's really cool and they've been doing it for a really long time. They know what they're doing. Jimmy. You know, Fred No. Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fred No right now. I mean, he's, man, he's, Dude, he's the man. Fred knows. Fred knows, man. Yep. And then, you know, think about Booker No. And it's the tradition of everything. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Run out. Yeah. Definitely get your hands on it or at least try it out. Maybe somewhere. Do whatever you can. Um, if you don't want to commit to a bottle, I get that. But try to find some place that has it. I don't know. Which they will. I they mean, will, yeah. I yeah, mean, this is starting to surface. This is pretty much everywhere now. This it's this is just kind of like boom, 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 boom. They're putting it out there. Yeah, you, you, so You'll see this. If you've tried it, let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good expression. I sort of miss the old, I'm going to be honest. I'm missing um, some of the spice notes that I'm, I, I, I really that I was I, I was hoping that I was going to get because I went right off the first sniff I was getting those spice notes and now it's just not now I'm going back to it it's not there so I, it's I don't, different and I don't, I'll, I'll yeah. be honest I'm going to miss the old bakers yeah um, so if you have some enjoy it don't don't save it for a rainy day because rainy day may never come but <laughs> that's true. Um, it reminds you of Baker's, but it is a little bit different. And I'm kind of curious of why they chose to do this. I, I think what it comes down to, my observation is, is marketing, because the single barrel stuff, you know, uh, yeah. you think about, um, you know, with Buffalo Trace and what they're doing with, uh, you know, Blanton's. I mean, that's the original single barrel. Yeah. But, but yeah. I mean, and, 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 and we do like our single right. barrels. And, and Baker's kind of was one of those bourbons that, no one paid attention to it. Was kind of got I was lost in the say shuffle, that. right? Yeah, I was just going to say that they may have had to reintroduce this. Yeah, to get to, it noticed. To get it out, to get it noticed, because right. I really feel like Baker's was an it was a, an overlooked. It bourbon. was. It, it absolutely was. And yeah. I think, yeah, they did this to get it out in the forefront and go, look, look at me, I'm still here. Like, or basically you know? drop a new product to get that yeah. new surge in marketing. And we've had this discussion about marketing, and it's, I get yeah. it, and it's, it's in one way, it's, it's good, but at the same time, it's like, change for the sake of change, just because you got to reintroduce something, and which that's it's, it's not what we're seeing, and it yeah. is good. There again, it was an expectation. Yeah, and we're that expecting can, that can mess bakers, you up. That can mess and this you is up. a, this is a new product, and we need to treat it as such. So, yes, treating as such, it is an excellent bourbon. I agree with you. Good, but, good way to put it, buddy. Yeah, let's not let's not get hung up on the Baker's label because it is like you said. If it's all the same stuff, yeah. Basically, if I covered all this up and said it was Knob Creek, right? You probably would if you said this is Knob Creek and I'm drinking. I'm like, oh, I could see this if I'm Knob Creek. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're, I, we're all guilty of that, and if you think you're better than that, <laughs> you might be, but I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, from the Bourbon Buddies, cheers. Cheers.